let's move on to our next main topic, and now we're getting back into serious territory. And it involves Uber again. Like, hey, we actually got three Uber stories. Well, you know how a lot of companies are having people work remotely from home? And some people might say, well, you know, technically Uber drivers are remote work anyway. Well, Uber has announced that their remote work from home, remote work from the big company will work last until June 2021. And here's an interesting one for me. And I mentioned this earlier. They are adding a $500 stipend to pay for at-home expenses. This is like, you know, pencils, electricity, things like that. To my knowledge, this is one of the only companies that have actually agreed to pay for some of these expenses at home because working from home does have a lot of hidden expenses. And hidden expenses include things like electricity and water and things like that. Uber would never actually offer to pay for the bottled water for the drivers, but they'll do it for their remote workers. Anyway, let's look at this. San Francisco-based Uber announced Tuesday that employees are free to continue working remotely through the end of June 2021, joining other local tech companies embracing a long-term work-from-home model amid the coronavirus pandemic. Uber's corporate employees can opt to go into work if their local offices reopen, but whether they choose to work from home or in an office will not impact performance reviews. For now, anyway. I, I, I think that Uber might actually turn that against some people in the long run, but we'll see. Uber will reevaluate the, reevaluate the policy in spring 2021 and determine whether it should be pushed back even further. The company has no plans to shorten its duration. I'm thinking this is going to become permanent. I'm thinking for all these companies, this is going to become a permanent thing. There's just too many advantages to doing it. Quote, as a company built on flexible working, we want to provide our team with flexibility, choice, and longer term clarity so they can plan ahead. Uber spokesperson Lois Van Derlon said in a statement. To help cover home office expenses, Uber is giving employees a $500 stipend in addition to previous expenses. Bay Area tech giants Google, Facebook, and Apple announced extensions of their work-from-home policies last month. At Twitter, CEO Jack Dorsey told employees they can work remotely permanently, and that is where this is all heading, in my opinion. Because keep in mind, when people work from home, they're paying for the electricity, they're using their own office space, they're buying their own, they're fixing their own computers, they're buying their own notepads and things like that. You don't have to have lunch on campus. They will make their own meals. And when you do that, not only do you as a company save those expenses, but guess what? You can also like not rent as much office space. Or if you want to continue renting that office space, you can hire more employees and a certain percentage of them are working from home. So I think this just more and more, it just shows me in my opinion that this work from home thing is permanent, it's not going away, and we might as well just get used to it. But I would like to know, what do you think about this? Do any of you work from home? And if so, do you think it will be permanent? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.